welcome back to this Python Toolbox series and this next video covering some more Python maths techniques. So you may have noticed this first line, import math. Now, that's a module that you can import that has a bunch of things that it's capable of doing. Now, if you do a lot of math stuff and you go on to make more complex programs, this might be even more useful than the stuff we look at now. But for now, we're just going to look at a few functions that you can use from it. Now, the first thing you might want to talk about is raising things to a power or getting the square root of something. Now, without using the math module, you can do this by having times times. So four times times two raises it to a power. Now, if you know your maths well, you would know that raising something to the power of a half is the same as getting the square root of it. So that is one way here that you can get the square root of a number without needing to import the math module. However, the math module has a number of different functions. Now you can hear the power function. You can raise a number to any power that you like and it will return it. It's exactly the same as this. Uh, the square root function means you can get the square root of a number and that's no different to doing it like this. Uh, so I'm just going to generate these numbers and print them out. Then we've got other functions in there, like it has a pi. So it's got built in pi. We'll see how many decimal places it goes to in a moment. And then another thing that I said I'd talk about in an earlier video is rounding. Now, <clears throat> rounding in Python isn't part of the math module. It's just a general function that you can do. And you have round brackets. The first thing you pass it is, what do I want to round? Then there's a comma. Then the next thing is, how many decimal places do I want to round it to? So let's just run this and see that it all works. So you can see four squared is 16. The square root of 16 is four. You can see that these two methods give the exact same results. Uh, you'll notice that they come in when we do them this way with a decimal place as floats. Uh, that's what happens when we call pow or square root. Further down, we can see that pi is actually printed with quite a lot of decimals uh, if we are using the math.pi, so it will be very accurate. And you can see that the round function has managed to round it to five decimal places. Now, you're going to try a challenge now. So the challenge you're going to try this time is going to be the square root calculator. All right, go and have a go at that and then watch the next video where I'll be going through the answer to that one.